And this lesson, we're gonna add the list assets, which is the second item here on the list. This is the actual hotel where people are going to be staying. So this is what they're gonna see, the pictures, the pricing, and everything. But before you do that, you wanna make sure that you add the currency for it. So you wanna to go to list currencies and then click on new. And then this is where you can put in the currency information. So based on the currency that you have, wherever country, country you are in the world. So once you've put the currency, you wanna click on save and close. <clears throat> And by the way, this is really great because, you know, if you live in whatever country that you're living in, um, this is a great tool that you can be able to utilize um, so that way people can choose the currency for your country. And then you want to click on new. And this is where you get to put in all the information that you need about this particular hotel. You know, the address, the phone number, the location, their, you know, book and type you know, the Google Maps so that people can be able to get, you know, a lot of information um, about this particular hotel. So let's add this information here. So once you've filled out all this information uh, on this on this form here, you, for the partner, you don't have to put anything there for now. But if you notice, don't want the asterisks here, all those are required for you to have. So once you put in the address and you click on show address and map, it's gonna show you exactly uh, where the address is and show you the latitude and the longitude for it. Uh, and then the next tab here, the publishing. Make sure this is set to publish. And then where it says default, this is the default. Uh, the rating, your hotel or motel or whatever it is, what's the rating? One star, two star. So there's a five star. Deposit required. Do you want to have a deposit? You can set that to yes or no. And then you can put in the, the deposit amount that you want for people to be able to deposit. So if you set that to no, then you don't need anything. But if you set it to yes, then you have to put in an amount. And then when you come over here, created by, you can choose the user who created this. And you can choose the created date. And then you want this to be public or guest or register. So you want to make sure that this is set to public because that means that everyone is going to be able to see. And if you want to incorporate like a terms of use privacy policy, then you would click on select. But in order for you to have something here, you would have to go to content and then you have to create an article page in order to, to do so. So let me just show you that quickly. So let's say that you wanted to have a terms of use and a privacy policy and a disclaimer. Uh, then what you would do is you go to content, you go to articles, and then you click on new. This is where you can be able to create all that information here. So I'm just gonna create uh, something privacy. And then you can put in your content here. And then the category, save and close. So you've created your privacy policy, your terms of agreements or whatever it is that you wanna create. So now when you click on terms of use, you click on the select here, it's gonna show you the one you just created. So you can choose this. And then you wanna choose the privacy policy you can choose that and you want to choose the disclaimer and you can choose the disclaimer as well. So you can create, you know, each one for the terms, you, but I'm just using this privacy policy just to show you how that's created. And do you want to enable the coupon? So you definitely want to keep that to yes, or you may not want to enable the coupon feature yet. And then with the logo, you don't have to, you know, worry about that for now. The room type, we're not having the room types yet. We're going to create those later. And then for the media, we don't have anything yet. And then the extra, the custom fields. Now, the, this the custom fields, this is another important part. When people come to your facility, uh, to your hotel or your motel, they want to know what are some amenities that they have. What can they do? What do you have? You know, uh, do you have a swimming pool? You know, what are some of the things that you have there? So you want to make sure that you take your time to go through these and put in the information that is asking you for it because when people are looking on the site then they can be able to see oh wow you know I can do this I can do that check in time is this one check out time is whatever it is but if you don't have that information here then they're kind of get lost and confused so I've went ahead and I filled out some information here and bother you can put in the information that corresponds with what you're doing so maybe check out time or check in time for you is not uh, 10 a.m. is, you know, is 1 a.m., whatever time it is, you can put that there. But please make sure that you go through this and answer, you know, fill as much of this as possible. And then at the bottom here, there's the social networks that do you want to, um, you know, for people to be able to, to, to you know, find you on social networks. 
So you have your all the popular social networks from Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, um, and things like that here. And then once you do that, you go to metadata. This is like for SEO purposes. Uh, you can put in the description. And just to, you know, as a side note, you don't pretty much have to worry about keywords because search engines like Google stop using keywords because it, you know they just stop using that as a ranking factor. So don't you know try to kill yourself trying to come up with all the perfect keywords for this. Just put in a description about this particular hotel and you know that'll give you a good starting point. Then for, for the robots, do you want the robots to index this page? Um, now based on the global settings that you have on the uh, global configurations, you can you know change that, but you can just leave this to just index follow. That means that they are going to index and follow this particular page. And you have the payments here. Uh, and they would pay later. So you can use that as your default payment. Since this particular version that we're using right now, you can accept payments online with this, but it does has that, have that feature that you can do that. And, you know, for countries where, you know, they don't really accept, like it's hard for some place to get credit cards. This is really great because you can make this, you know, the, the key thing where people can reserve their spot. And then when they come into the location, then they pay. But at least that spot has been, you know, has been reserved and um, they won't be charged for that until they actually come to the location. And then you can also use the bank wire. So if you want for people to, you know, wire, the, wire money in your account, then you can put the account name, the account details and the front end message that they're going to see. So if you know, you're in a country where they don't accept, you know, it's hard for you to get credit cards and for people to make payments. Um, then you want to utilize, you know, you can utilize the accounts, bank wire that they can wire money in your account. Um, and then they can, of course, you know, you get the money and, you know, verify everything. And then facility right now, this version that we're utilizing, you know, we using doesn't have those as part of it. Okay. So once you're done with this, you can either click save and new to add an additional um, assets, or you can just click on save and close. So I'm just gonna click on save and close, and let's move on to the next lesson.